Hello everybody. I wanted to uh, do the review for the Harbor Freight uh, Cobra security camera setup, the wireless one. They also have a wired one. But I wanted to do the wireless one first. Uh, been a lot of people waiting on this review, so I'm going to try and uh, get it out as uh, fast as I can. Is let's let's start with the setup. Setting up the the system was uh, super super easy, uh, no problem at all. The hardest thing about setting up the the, the cameras was uh, finding a place to plug them in. Uh, you have to you ca you have to kind of mount them somewhere where you've got a power outlet. Other than that, you just kind of attach it to something and uh, you're good to go. So there's uh, no issues with the. Um, with the installation, and as soon as you uh, plug them in and turn on the the base unit, the receiver, uh, they just they just work. They're already out of the box, uh, synced up to the base device, and and they just automatically work. Here's some of the settings. You go. You know, you got the date and time. You set the date and time. That's right. Well, as soon as you get the thing, you have to set the date and time. Time zone. Uh, the firmware upgrade, uh, you can go in there and you can update it from the SD card or from the server, but it was already uh, on the current version. This is your network information. You don't really have to mess with that. This is uh, to format the SD card. Uh, when you first put it in, good idea to do that. Or if you want to quickly delete all the files, uh, that's a, you can do that as well. Um, and then you can go back to default settings. That's really all the settings in here. And then you've got, um, this is the level of motion detection. Like if you go to camera one, I have two cameras. Uh, I have this one uh, set on low. And the difference between these is, is not a whole lot. You got low, medium, and high. There is a discernible difference, but it's not, it's not drastic. It's very, you know, very small increments between these. So the higher you go, the more uh, false alarms you got. Uh, not false alarms, but the more motion triggers you get. That's, I guess that's one of the downsides to this. The motion detection is uh, very, sensitive it sees the slightest emotion like I had um, a bird fly by the camera and that triggered it um, so just keep that in mind that, th that this setup uh, will be you know the motion detection will be triggered quite often uh, that's a, a plus and a downside I guess I, I guess it depends on how you look at it if you live in an area where you're not getting a lot of motion at your house then it's probably not going to be a factor but here my house is on a corner and uh, this thing's constantly going off um, it, it's not a big deal I don't I don't care you know because it just when it gets to the end of the SD card and when it records it just loops around to the front anyway so it's it's not a big deal that it's just pretty much a lot of the times recording because uh, the motion detection is triggering at night obviously that that slows down by quite a bit but I mean if a car drives by uh, at night it uh, it goes off it goes off uh, you know one o'clock or whatever in the morning and this is how loud you have the alert set like you know this you know I have it set right here but eh, bump it down one you know, you get used to this beeping sound. You can turn this completely off to where you don't even uh, hear it or whatever. That's all that is. And then the record, you have the duration of how long you want it to record if it gets an alert. I have it set to uh, 30 seconds. Uh, this just depends on how long you want the video to be if it's triggered. Um, I had it set at one minute for a little while and that just seemed to be like mm, a little excessive. I had to watch a one minute video, especially when I was remote trying to watch these videos, um, you know, remotely, you know, trying to do it on your phone from a, you know, a, a one minute video is too long. 30 seconds is, you know, is, is where I got it. I got it in the middle. So, uh, scheduling recording. I never played with this. You can just have this thing kick on 
and and just start recording if you want it to. I didn't use this. I don't really uh, know what the reason you would use this would be. Um, so, you know, that's uh, if you find a use for that, great. But I never even I never even messed with it. So, uh, this is the the setting for. Uh, telling it to overwrite files or not. Like when it gets to the end of the SD card, it will either uh, stop recording and tell you the SD card is full, or it'll just loop around and replace the oldest recording and so on and so forth. So uh, that's what I have it doing. Uh, and this is the settings for pairing a new camera, or if you did what I did, I just willy-nilly installed the cameras and I didn't see which camera was labeled what. So what ended up happening is on my screen I actually had the cameras reversed <clears throat> from how I wanted them. So when a car drove by it was confusing because it would like go the wrong way and then start on the other camera. So I just went in here and repaired them and then flipped, you know, so that flipped them back around. Um, so you can do that. You can turn one of the cam one or any of the cameras on or off. Here in the brightness, um, I, I kind of messed around with this a little bit, and I don't see that it makes it, it makes any difference. One of the biggest problems with this unit, it's kind of kind of borderlines uh, false advertising here. Um, you go into the resolution, and you can see that all the cameras are set to VGA, uh, which is uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing six. Uh, what is it, uh, 640 by 280 or something like that? Uh, maybe 800 by 600, but I'm guessing not. I'm guessing probably 640 by the uh, 280. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute, I'll pull one of the files off the card and we'll find out for sure. But anyway, VGA is uh, you know not high definition. This is advertised as a high definition security cam system. But if you change this to high definition, like if I go to high definition and I change this to high definition, and I and I go out of here. <clears throat> uh, it'll it'll just reset back to uh, low definition. There's a uh, it won't stay in high definition. So that's kind of a, a bad thing. Uh, and that's really all the uh, settings uh, that are in here. And then you've got uh, this this deal here, where like say you want to look at the recordings, you press. This is a joystick, by the way. So this moves around in, you know, in eight directions or whatever, actually four directions, I, sh I should say, and then you can push it in, it's a button. So if you just push this in, uh, this, these are your recordings, and it pops up on a calendar, which is kind of cool. These are all my recordings all the way back to the 12th. Cause, so you can see that you can record for a long time. Uh, the card that I have in here is a, a 64 gig card, and it'll record a long time. Uh, so if you, for today, for instance, you hit the 29th here or whatever, and these are all your recordings. Let's try this one. This is camera two. Actually, I want camera one. So you can see it's camera two. This tells you the file name and, and then the dash is what camera it was. Let's check this one. But anyway, you know, so you can play, you can play the videos and it gives you the timestamp, the date the file name all of that kind of stuff and it's it's pretty it's pretty crystal clear like there's not a problem seeing anything or anything like that uh, so you can play any file just like that you can go back play the next one or whatever this is the other camera and you can see that bus right there is what is what set that camera off that was the motion that set that off here we go, camera two at 10 o'clock. You can see right there on the right-hand side right there, there's a package from Amazon that, that, uh, that was dropped off right there. So, you know, so that's kind of that's handy. You know, you get packages and whatnot. They hit it right there by that planner. Um, so that's, that's really kind of the recording. There's not much else to it. And I'll pull the files to get the properties off the files. I've never done that yet, actually. Post a sample of the video, too, uh, right now.
The night vision on this camera uh, works really well, but you know, here's the night vision. And it's that car, you know, driving by. You know, of course, it you know at night you don't you know you don't see as well as you do during the day. Um, but I mean, I could still you know make out you know what what's going on. Okay, so let's back out. Let's look at the. Here's another one at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, this is uh, this is Joanna going to work. I do believe. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what a person looks like in the camera, you know, with the night vision. Uh, the microphone, the intercom, someone had a, a question specifically about the intercom. So this is how the intercom works. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you, it's a little awkward to use. Let's say for instance, somebody knocked on the door at, uh, at camera one, right? So you hit this button over here, right there, and it'll switch into single camera mode, right? So there it is. And now you can hear that right now, live. That's what's going on right now. And then there is a button. No, it's over here. Okay, it's by the antenna. Okay, where the antenna is right here. So let me see if you guys seeing that. Okay, you're seeing that. Okay, the button is, is right here. So you press that in and now you're talking live outside. I can go put a camera out there. Uh, a guy specifically wanted to know what that sounded like, how loud that was or whatever. Okay, testing uh, one, two, three, three, two, three, audio check, check, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And, you know, decent ways away from it. Audio, audio, audio. But I'm talking outside, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty loud and you can hear pretty loud. So it works really well. It's just awkward, you know, to do this. Um, you know, it would be nice if you just had a, you know, a, a button for each camera or something. I don't know, or if you touch the screen to what camera you wanted to talk. Uh, and then you just let it go to listen. You know, it's like a, it's like a walkie talkie kind of thing. It's a one way communication kind of thing. And if you wanted to talk on the other camera, you would just hit this again and it would switch to the other camera. And, you know, same thing over here, you would just hit the button to talk and, and, um, and it works. We tried it, me and Joanna tried it, and my dad, you know, came over one day and I talked to him uh, at the door because I was busy over here doing something and I said, you know, I told him to wait until I got there. So that works really well. Um, it also works uh, really well on the app. Um, you know, you can do this remotely. <clears throat> I mean, it's not really practical though, because if somebody comes to your door, let's say somebody comes to your door and knocks on your door, uh, you get the notification pretty quickly, but I would say within uh, 15 seconds or something like that on your phone. <clears throat> so by the time you go, oh, someone's at my door and you hit the button and you open the app and then you switch to the camera and then you, you know, hit the button to talk because there is a delay over the internet. So you, you hit the button and they hear you and then they talk back. I just, I just don't see the practicality of that unless, um, they were just hanging out at your door for a good, you know, two or three minutes uh, for you to get all that up and running, you know, so. To get the app, I had a somebody, uh, see that right there was motion on camera too. And as you can see right there, um, the only motion out there is the trees blowing. And you know, sometimes it, it triggers like that. It'll just, it'll just trigger on, you know, that, that bush out there blowing in the breeze, you know, so. Um, so it does, like the motion sensing is very sensitive and it goes off a lot. I just want to kind of stress that. So when you get it, you're not thinking it's a, it's a high tech motion sensor, you know? Um, it's not, it's very uh, primitive. If it, if it sees motion period, it's gonna, it's gonna trigger. Now back to the getting the app. I had somebody messaged me on Facebook saying that they couldn't figure out the app. Okay, so this is the deal with the app. First of all, if we turn this around to the back, okay, and I accidentally hit a button, obviously. This is a network cable that, that comes with the device. It comes with it. This has to be plugged into your router. This is not a Wi-Fi device. So it has to be hardwired into your network in order for the 
uh, app, the app to work and in order for the alerts to work, all of that stuff is, uh, is powered uh, because of the network here. So let me get this thing to shut up. Try not to touch the screen in the front. Um, so it has to be hardwired into your network. It's just the way it is. Um, one of the things I want to mention again is that it uses a standard SD card. So I just used an adapter that comes with a micro SD card and that worked fine. This, uh, this uh, USB, this mini USB plug right here does nothing. There's that. Okay, now on the back of here, you'll notice a QR code. Right here is a QR code. If you take a QR scanner for your iPhone or for your Android device, and you scan this code, it'll take you right to the app. You know, if uh, if you want to just go to the app store and get it like I did, that's I mean it wasn't hard to find. I just typed in uh, my cam view. It's called my cam view. My cam is all one word, and view. That's the name of the app, and it works uh, pretty good. That's all there is to getting the app if you were out and about at the store and got an alert and you wanted to see it. So you've got up here, you've got your cameras, one through four, pop, 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 and you can select them. And you can, uh, you can take a screenshot like there, pop, hit that button to take a screenshot. This is to turn the audio on if you want to hear the audio. And this button right here is to activate the, uh, the microphone if you want to talk to somebody. And this is to access the pictures that you took or whatever. So that's the app and that's really all there is to it. Let's switch to the other camera. And this is about, you know, what you could expect as far as performance and stuff. This is very, you know, very uh, representative of what I have experienced using this app out and about. You know, as far as the speed and the quality, uh, all of that stuff is, uh, this is what I've come to expect right here. This is what this looks like. It's just a giant long list of all the videos that have been recorded. And in order to see, I don't know why it's like this, but that's just the way it is. In order to see the most recent one, you got to scroll all the way to the bottom. The most recent one is all the way at the bottom, which is kind of irritating. Wish it was the other way around. But let's say I wanted to play this video right here that just happened. This is what you could kind of expect out and about as far as performance goes. See, it plays the video, it's a 30 second video. Well, you know, it's not, it's not playing uh, smooth right now. I think I've just discovered a new, a new issue. What's happening here, I think, is that while the device is, uh, is recording and it's trying to upload a video to the server, um, it doesn't play an event smoothly. So let me see if that theory is correct. Now I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit the video again with no video being recorded. And yep, that's what it is. So that's, that's what the deal is. If it's uh, busy uploading a video, it, it'll kind of hang up it looks like. So, but I've never experienced that out and about or anything. So that's like the first time that that's, that that's happened. So anyway, not, not to, uh, you know, not uh, perfect. You know what I mean? There, there are a little bit of uh, hangups and quirks and whatnot uh, to, you know, to say the least. Okay, uh, one of the things that I have to mention that's kind of a downside uh, to this camera system is that extra cameras, you get two cameras with the kit, right? Um, the, an extra camera is $90, $89.99. Um, sometimes they're on sale, but not by much. I think like right now they're on sale, but it's not much. It's still, I think it's $79.99 right now. Um, <clears throat> but $89.99 for one camera is a little bit high. So that's where they get you. They give you two cameras. They, they kind of think you're going to want two more. Um, and they're just crazy expensive. Like I don't see myself paying $90 for one camera uh, when I can just buy a whole nother system with two more cameras and have an extra base station. I mean, 
I, I find that to be ridiculous. I mean, and here's something that is unknown at this point in time. You know, the, the whole thing is made by Bunker Hill. This uh, camera system is made by Bunker Hill, and they changed the name, you know, like sometimes Harbor Freight, uh, you know, has their own branded stuff that's sold in Harbor Freight stores. But this is a Bunker Hill system, and I'm not positive if the Bunker Hill cameras work with the Harbor Freight system. My guess is no, that they don't, that the encryption for the Harbor Freight uh, camera system is, is unique. No way to know that for sure, because I'm not buying one to find out. Uh, so I, I do kind of find that as, as a negative. I, I do think I need at least one more camera, at least one more camera. I would like to have two more cameras, but at $89 a piece, yeah, I'm probably not, I'm not going to. As you can see, the cars driving by in the road are setting off the motion sensor. So that kind of gives you an idea how often this thing is going to be recording. Uh, anytime it sees motion, I mean, just anywhere, um, it, it, just, it just starts recording and goes off. So remember I told you that the settings change back to uh, VGA no matter what you do. I set them to HD, you guys saw me do it. So let's check the settings and see, uh, see if, they, if they stayed. Uh, generally speaking, I've never seen them stay. Here we go. Go down to resolution and see, see you can see right there that it has uh, automatically, move it up, it automatically switched back to VGA. So to answer your question about, v, uh, about the video quality, not what they advertise, actually kind of borderline uh, false advertising in my opinion. They advertise an HD uh, security system and it's clearly not. Uh, that is not true. So, but the video quality is still good. There's, it's very clear. It's digital, which means you're not going to get, a, you're not going to get any static in the video. It's either on or it's not. So, uh, for instance, let me see. Let me go back. If, if the video signal gets blocked by, like, sometimes I'll move in front of the the, the antenna, like I'll move forward or something like that, uh, this, the video signal will just go out black. Uh, there's no static or anything like that. So when you have signal, it's crystal clear. I haven't had any problem with the video quality. It looks great. Um, so it's not like those old systems where, you know, you're trying to dial it in like an old TV or something, you know, where you got the ant races going on. It doesn't do that. There's no lines. It's crystal clear or it's not. So uh, I, I would say that... I'm not I'm not unhappy with the video quality um, and the night vision the night vision is uh, adequate I think it works as good as any other night vision I've ever seen it's you know it's you know with any night vision you don't see as well as you do in the daytime I mean for instance if a guy walked up at a, at a distance and his face was uncovered and you needed to make out his face and it was and it was <clears throat> and it was in night vision mode you're probably not going to get a lot of detail in a guy's face if you didn't know who he was um, but it, it does you can see what's going on you can clearly see what is going on you just you just lack the detail uh, that you would get during the day. Uh, so I, I would say it's it's just the same as any night vision I've ever seen on any any camera. So uh, I, I would say it's good. Okay guys, I have uh, pulled the files and I have looked at them and they are all for sure being recorded at uh, 640 by 480. Uh, bit rate is uh, 128 uh, kbps at 30 frames a second. So it is uh, not at all what they advertise, and this is the very last one uh, uh, recorded. I'm looking at the file sizes. That's a, a clear indication of uh, whether or not you're getting any uh, HD ones, and there's nothing. Uh, yeah, there's just there's just nothing here in any of the files uh, that would uh, give me an indication that we've ever had. <clears throat> that we've ever had a, um, an HD file recorded at all. Final verdict is, is that I, I got this on sale at the $200 price point, the $199 price point. I think at that price point, it is, uh, uh, it is worth the money. 
at the 200 and I don't know what this thing's crazy price, like $250 price point, full price or whatever, it's, uh, you know, I, you know, then you start going, well, mm, I don't know. Maybe you might want to look at something else. I don't know. But for me, I'm going to keep it as far as long term goes. As if anything happens, like always, I'll report that. Like if it breaks or uh, something happens and it, you know, malfunctions or whatever, stops working, I will report that. Uh, but I'm going to keep the system. I like it well enough uh, for what I'm doing here that it that it works really well. I, uh, I I'm I'm happy with it overall. I know it's not perfect. I know that it's not uh, what it's advertised and all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, I like it. I'm pretty impressed with it. I've had wireless cameras in the past that just suck. They just suck. This one doesn't suck. This definitely is uh, is is definitely adequate for most people's uh, uses, I believe. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and recommend it, and uh, I think most people would be happy with it. Uh, any specific uh, questions, let me know. Uh, comments, do you have this system and you've had problems with it? Whatever it is, post them in the comments and uh, let's open up to, uh, you know, like always open up a discussion about it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk at you later. Uh, we're going to do the review for the uh, Simply Safe cameras next and we'll get that out as soon as I can. But for now, talk at you later. On that end.